Hi, Trish Stewart here. I want to talk to you a little bit about the Inktensify workshop and explain what you're going to be learning. You know, so many people have been told that they simply cannot create art. And I'll tell you something, that's just, it kills me. I don't think that's true for anybody. All of us can learn the five simple steps to how to make your art so that it comes alive. It's not flat, it's not boring. And I like using ink tense pencils for a couple reasons. One is, this is created for use on fabric. And if you are like me, you like creating things that you can use. So being able to use this on fabric is amazing. It's not going to wash out, it's permanent, and it remains soft and supple. Now, I have other products that do the same thing, but this is a really good one to start learning with. That's why I'm teaching this workshop using Inktense pencils. And you're going to learn so many different things. How do you know how to give depth to your project so that it, it actually doesn't look like a child just colored it in a coloring book. How do you know what colors to use together? How do you know how to create a watercolor effect without it bleeding all the heck over the place and following your fabric? Because it's totally different when you're doing painting, watercolor painting on fabric. You have the fibers that want to pull all of the ink or your or your uh, paint or whatever it is you're using onto those fibrous lines and then you end up with this horrible blob. This is part of what you're gonna learn in here. So we start you out, you're learning how do you create depth? Because that really is the key to creating something that is stunning. How do you create depth? How do you control this? And how do you make this fit into different types of art. For instance, you may or may not want to paint your dog. Your dog is going to be a different kind of concept than painting a landscape where you have things that are much further away. So there are so many different factors and this workshop, I set it up so that you get to go through step by step learn the foundation, then we go in and we create that cute little mushroom and uh, the mushroom house. And that has so many different elements in it, like leaves, how do you create leaves so that you get that flow going. This is going to be something that opens up your whole future. And you'll find out it's not difficult. It's not rocket science. It, once you learn these little techniques, you'll go, oh my gosh, I wish somebody would have told me this before. It is so simple. And you get to do it a couple times on each element. And once you learn those and you feel like you've got that down, then you get to go in to create your masterpiece. And then it's going to open up a whole new world for you. And I can't wait to show you. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in Paducah.